Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use an LDR with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. LDR stands for Light Dependent Resistor. It is a type of electronic component that changes resistance according to light intensity. What I have here is an LDR module included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board to serve as the brain for the experiment, an ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit, to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers for easy circuit connection. A 3-pin, female-to-female, DuPont jumper wires. And of course, the LDR module itself. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I attach the DuPont jumper wires to the LDR module by following the color coding which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the signal pin. While the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow. For this experiment, I choose GPIO32 to serve as an analog input pin from the LDR module. Now for the software part, I prepared here three example source code for this demonstration. Now for example number one, let me click the run button to execute it. Let's tackle how we can use the LDR module with ESP32 using MicroPython. If we use the ADC peripheral of ESP32 to read the analog value of GPIO32, which is the pin associated to the LDR module, we can determine the equivalent voltage of the LDR's signal pin with respect to the ground, which is connected to GPIO32. This voltage reading is inversely proportional to the resistance of the LDR module. LDR behaves like this. When the light intensity increases, the LDR resistance decreases. So, the voltage across it increases. So the ADC reading also increases. The opposite also applies. When the light intensity decreases, the LDR resistance increases. So the voltage across it decreases. So we get lower ADC readings. To demonstrate, let's read the ambient light of my room. Now let me copy this line of code which reads the LDR value of the ADC and print it to the repo. So let me paste it here and hit enter. As of now, the value is 2,838. Now let's read it again, but this time I will cover the LDR. And I will hit enter. And the value is... 68. Now, if I point a flashlight on it, just like this, and let's read it again. I will hit enter. And as you can see, it reads 4095, which is the maximum ADC that we can read using the ESP32. Now, for the example number two, the simplest application of LDR I could think of is the automatic lights on when the surrounding is dark at night and automatically turning the lights off during daytime. Let me demonstrate it using the example number 2 by clicking the Run Current Script button. For simplicity purposes, I only use the onboard LED here to represent the lights. But you can easily replace the LED with actual lights connected through an electrical relay 
that's as this module. Now let me demonstrate it. I will cover the light sensor simulating dark or the night is coming just like this one. So the lights turns on and when I remove my hand simulating daytime the lights should automatically turns off. Simple right? Now let me click the stop button and let's see example number three. Another application of LDR could be implemented with the help of this laser module. This example will demonstrate how to build an intruder detection security system. Let me assemble the demo circuit. I will remove the relay module because we don't need it. Okay, I already attached the laser module to GPIO25. Let me click the run button for the example number 3. Now, let me align first the laser so that it will hit the LDR. Now, if we block the laser simulating an intruder, it will blink the onboard LED signaling an alarm. You can add some other functions like an audible alarm or send an alert message to the owner. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.